fight coming up next. It is a welterweight showdown between Colby Chaos Covington and Johnny Hendricks. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, sometimes lost in the shuffle of all that is Colby Covington, we don't talk enough about just how elite a welterweight this is. Realized the UFC interim welterweight title back in the day, and he's a guy who many people believe on any given Saturday night, he can be the top 170-pound fighter in the world. Absolutely, and it's the work ethic. It's the work ethic of Colby Covington that stands out. When I was at Oklahoma State as a coach, we wanted to recruit Colby Covington out of junior college because he was such a phenomenal workhorse. Everybody recognized it from day one. And when you watch it in his approach to his fights, he fights in that very same way. He's in your face, he's grabbing you, he's clinching you, he's taking you down, and he'll even stand and strike and throw big shots with you as the fight progresses. Don't mistake the talk for a guy that cannot back him up with actions. Colby Covington is a savage. Fear is not a factor for Colby Chaos Covington. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Walter White division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC Walter White champion, Johnny. Big Rig Hendrick! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Colby Chaos Covington! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Good. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.E. Lost for words. Oh, wow! start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, this is some high level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Johnny Hendricks. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Close guard here, he's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Good work from the top here by Hendricks. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Covington. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Covington's back in full mount. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 
All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, right to the mount. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What is he going to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt okay, named Daniel you Cormier. Lost Woo! <laughs> you lost it. Your wrestling is not looking good. But you got to set up your shots. You're telling me. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second fight. round underway. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. And they both stand up. Oh, single collar tie here. Level change, get to the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Let's go, get out of there. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. And he's out. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Covington. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. 30 seconds now to go in the round. 
changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh! Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, reversal here. What a fight so far. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. It's okay. it's Hendricks okay. gets caught with that punch. Okay. You're okay. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Big punch land. Ooh. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow? Oh! You can't your Just a... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a deal. The weight difference, I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Covington. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. You gotta be careful, armbar. Now you got it. Stay tight. Finish it. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He wow. lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. That's it. Well, the ground and pound strikes to the body keep on coming. You gotta start to minimize the damage. Good work here by Hendricks. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. The judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges scored the contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. For the winner by unanimous decision, Johnny Big Rig All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. 
dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets a dominant decision. Next, it is a middleweight matchup between Robert Whitaker and Vitor Belfort. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Watch the strike. He is all about that left kick to the body. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with a left hook there. He blocks the punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. <laughs> his misses are entertaining. Two minutes remain in the round. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. And a strong outside leg kick there. Real quick leg kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Final seconds of round one. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Belfort. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? So fight. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Man, how 
How about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up and the boxing, and that is on full display right now. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. And they separate. Just misses with the jab. Nice Ooh. punch lands over the top. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight punch lands. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh! 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 Holy smokes! He put him to sleep. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. So we call on the fight stats here. These are unofficial, but strong numbers. 46 total oh. strikes. Oh, he tasted that knockout life. He tasted the knockout life. He's done. He's done. What a performance. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Going the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. Next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Ready. You ready to fight? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Lands with the ground and pound here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Artie's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip us. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He can't help you there. Escape. Posturing up now, then he's out. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. 
All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. He got the finish, what a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain, when you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another day. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds. Declaring the winner by tap out, Diaz! Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most. Next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick up fight, according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best. Oh. He didn't like that left hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Johnson gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Slips the punch. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Beautiful punch. Midway through round one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Johnson. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Just out of range with the big right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Johnson doing a nice job staying upright here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Let's get some points. Let's get that take good cover, stick. Cover. Single collar tie now. to the jab now, no good. Blocks that strike. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, second round underway. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Whoa! Very nice leg kick there by Johnson. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right. Nice liver shot lands. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Johnson's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Oh, big left hook there. Johnson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh! Oh, it's over. Oh! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Evil Beings called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble Johnson. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.
right, coming up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. You ready? You ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Watch your neck. Defend that neck. Nicely done. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes he's going to start trying to move to a submission. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. for the takedowns. We want to keep his jab open. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. He did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, full guard now, DC. Yes, full guard. Watch for the top fighter to either posture or look to pass right away. Lands with a right hand. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground is oh. all start. Nice liver shot lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Control the 
Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight. He has been a headhunter at times in his career, but at least at this point, Joe, you gotta think it would behoove him to start mixing things up and work some shots to the body. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. To be now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single, switch to a high cross, oh, takes him for a ride, man. slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong it end of that? Not, I mean, honestly, I've never <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> All right, half guard for him here and a lot of off. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Defend with both hands. Both hands. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Wow. Oh, let's go. It's a one. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Under a minute now to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Coleman. Hands up. Hands up. Looks like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side, trying to get a bulldog choke. Don't get caught in that submission. Oh! Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He won that last round based upon submission attempts. Your defense looks awesome, but it's winning on the judges' scorecards. We have to take that advantage away. This time, we do not get taken down. This All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Final round, you ready? Let's go fight. Come on, man, let's finish strong now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Liver kick. Got the single collar tie. Right punches there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. That one stuck in. Nice strike. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Coleman, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cole. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's and now doing he has it a here. Nice trying punch. to pin his opponent's bag down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. I need you to get out of there now. And he's out. Now. The guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. 
He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nice kick. Nice body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 29-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Mark the Hammer Coleman! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight, and he won it in dominant fashion.